Hey guys, let's talk about using soft tissue tools and the potential benefits as well as some of the do's and don'ts to support your health and performance goals. Self soft tissue can help with mobility, which leads to better motor control. It can be a fantastic workout tool and is especially great with post-workout recovery. We're going to concentrate this discussion on six areas and their subsets, the tools and the tool selection, location of the tender areas, the technique, the duration, and the reassessment. First, the tool and tool selection. There are countless rolling tools and the key is finding the right one for the right body part that works best for you. Here we have a variety of tools. First up, going left to right, are the cylindrical tools in order from least to most firm. The blue roller being the least firm. Next, the black roller. The third one, and my personal favorite, the rumble roller or the knobby roller as it's known. The PVC pipe, which is extremely hard. The stick, which is the white stick with black handles. Or the green stick uh, from TheraBand with contoured lines. Next up, we have the circular tools, going from left to right in order from least to most firm. First up, we have the tennis ball. Next to that, we have the double tennis ball, which I merely tape two tennis balls together. Then the lacrosse ball, as well as the double lacrosse ball. Next up is the softball, which is a little bit bigger. The blue AccuMobility is the next tool, a tool that I really, really like. And finally, the medicine ball, which is the largest of the group. The next consideration is the location of the tender areas. Before we get to that, first, a couple of things to avoid. If you are pregnant or have osteoporosis, do some further research and consult your medical professional before trying. Focus on soft tissue and avoid bony areas or anything that causes you pain. And last, hunt for sensitive areas. Next up, the intensity. Controlling intensity comes from three factors, the tool firmness, the shape, and the contour of the tool. Next, your body weight and gravity. Whether you're pressing your full body weight into the tool with the assistance of gravity increases intensity. Notice that I have my right leg on top of my left in this picture. In this picture, however, notice that my right knee is supporting me and offloading a portion of my weight which decreases the intensity. Finally, when using a handheld tool like the stick, I can moderate the pressure into the tool and therefore the intensity. You don't want the intensity to be too great, otherwise you will defeat the purpose of having your tissues relax. Once you've determined your tool, located a tender area and know how to adjust the intensity, you need to apply the appropriate technique. Here are six technique options that we use with our clients. Typically, they become progressively more challenging as you go. Technique one is the simplest one. Stay and breathe. Get on top of the tender spot and breathe through your nose. Try directing your breath to the area that you would like to resolve. Continue nasal breathing for all of the following techniques. The next technique is roll up and down on the roller. The next technique is rolling side to side by moving your body on top of the roller sideways. Next up, try pulling the tissue gently in a direction that it doesn't want to go. Consider diagonals. The fifth technique is the pin and stretch. Put pressure on a portion of the tissue and stretch it. In this case, I'm lifting my right heel to my right butt in order to stretch my right quad. Finally, technique number six. Combine techniques. Pull the tissue as you did in technique four and then stretch it. This is the most intense technique and I would not recommend it if you are new to rolling. As an additional safety tip, try to avoid arching your lower back while rolling as I'm doing in this frame. How long should you roll on a given spot? 30 seconds up to two minutes. As you proceed, your discomfort level should decrease. If it increases, stop right away. The goal is to make the area less sensitive so the tissue can more easily be incorporated and contribute to global movements. Once you are done, reassess. Do you feel better? If so, perhaps try another spot. I hope this helps. Here's to you and being better. Have a fantastic week.